Science. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change has published a report on the impact it has on remote, low-lying Pacific Island communities. The Marshall Islands is made up of 29 low-lying coral atolls. Recurring tides and ocean swells are northern Pacific Islands vulnerable to erosion. If the world continues the way it is, they continue the behaviour that they, they have become accustomed to, and continue to pollute. Uh, we're not talking about a situation that's going to happen 100 years from now. We're talking about something that's happening now. In the capital, Majuro, roads are regularly flooded with tides clearing the sea wall. The erosion continues apace, endangering the island's physical survival and its economy. We are the canaries that die in the mine to tell the miners, get out, you're going to die too. Uh, if the, the damage is such that we have to evacuate these islands, then it's already too late for the world to save itself. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change met recently in Yokohama, Japan. The group is unanimous in declaring climate change as one of the defining challenges of the 21st century. One of the things we know from lots and lots of experience is that even a modest amount of sea level, when coupled with one of these extremes, a king tide or a storm surge, can really create massive damages and has the potential to make some of these island areas uninhabitable. The Marshall Islands is attempting to help itself and lead others away by moving away from fossil fuels in the hope that major players will follow suit.